Direct Relief, having worked in Ukraine for the last six years on other issues than war, it's been just a fundamental shift, obviously, since Russia invaded. The tragedy of having civilian, non-combatant people targeted, particularly after two years that the world's tried to come together and protect each other from COVID, it's just a massive shift of human beings intentionally targeting, trying to kill each other. The outpouring of support is great. I don't think the availability of medical things is going to be the problem. The challenge is going to be getting it to where it needs to go in a very fluid environment with far from perfect information because it's changing constantly. Consumer goods, bandages, wound care. Good information drives good activity always. And when it's incomplete information, you are forced to revert back to what you can generalize based on the demographic information, the existing public health information, and make some assumptions that are not based on nothing, but they're not specific from a health and medical perspective. Getting insulin close to Ukraine doesn't count. It actually has to get to patients who need it. So based on that, you move fast and responsibly. The big difference being with prescription drugs, it's different than consumer goods or food or clothing where it's easy to know what to do with it. Prescription drugs are in a controlled supply chain, so really trying to get specific information that we can move on. So far it's been okay, but it changes hour by hour. As organizations like Direct Relief have evolved, there is a role for us to play that have previously been perceived as the sole purview of governments. The fact that Direct Relief is being asked by governments to kick in, including in our own country or uh, our own state, it just feels okay. I mean, it's an evolution and the, the new roles being adopted. And so much of the talent, so much of the wealth, so much of the know-how happens to exist in the private sector. It would be a shame if we didn't invite those talents and tools and resources and people to participate in these huge problems that affect us all. Nonprofits often raise money, but the reason nonprofits raise money is to convert it to goods and services. So Direct Leaf has the great benefit of having the goods, like prescription medications, and the services, like transportation from FedEx, available. It's a wonderful use of the resources that exist in the world for humanitarian purposes that's separate from politics. It's not rooted in religion. It really is what it purports to be, and that's just helping people who need it when they need it.